a pleasure to be with you today. We are going to uh, talk about Elliot Wave, but I know that we are right now in a very complex situation around the globe. Like in all the countries, we are seeing horrible things in the news and everywhere. But during this 30 minute presentation, I want you to focus on technical analysis and forget everything else because it's a hard time, but with technical analysis, we are going to see the markets uh, with a different uh, perspective. And this is going to help us to relax a little bit of all this horrible situation and thinking other, uh, other things that are pretty interesting, like the Elliott Wave Theory. So I'm Juan Maldonado. I'm the founder of ElliottWaveStreet.com. And I have been trading for the last uh, 10 years, over the, the last 10 years. And I really like uh, to use Elliot, the Elliott Wave Theory because it's the roadmap, you know, it's the, it's the GPS of, of the markets. And with this GPS, we can take some fantastic decisions in, in order to have successful trades. In this uh, presentation, we are going to introduce Elliott Wave uh, very briefly so you can have a basic of the idea of what Elliott Wave is. And then we are going to the live markets. I'm going to show you some of my top Elliott Wave setups, or some, some on Forex, some on stocks, some on futures. On futures, we are going to check actually the, the S&P, the ES. And at the end of this session, you are going to have a clear idea of a, how, to, how to use Elliott Wave in your trading. All right, so let's start. The, the Elliott Wave theory is not uh, something new. Actually, Charles Dow in the 1900s started to describe the, the Elliott Wave theory in, in a different way than uh, later Ralph Nelson Elliott did and then uh, Robert Practor, but uh, it was the foundation of the theory. So here we have a, a, a chart. Here we have a chart on, on the right. And this is how the Elliott Wave market structure looks like. It's, a, it's something simple because we have a five wave sequence. Here we have a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and then a wave five that is called the impulse then uh, the corrective wave that is an abc or a complex corrective wave and actually that's it but the 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 most complex part of the Elliott wave theory because you can read a robert practice book you can um, uh, check the the guidelines and rules of the Elliott wave theory anywhere online but the the key part is to understand how to use this information this theory in your chart that's the tricky part and make money with it that's the tricky part because yeah understanding the rules and guidelines and everything it's easy but the real the real thing is going to the chart and applying all these guidelines and rules so that's why when i was learning the the Elliott wave theory for me was very difficult to, to understand how to do that part, to do my wave counts at the beginning. Oh, my wave counts were horrible. I was forecasting something and always went the other way. Was was pretty, pretty complex to apply this on the live charts. But with experience, I started to develop the skills and now I can't trade without a little wave. The, one of the key things when you are doing a little wave uh, that I understand in the in the hard way, you know, I learn in the hard hard way, is that uh, when a market starts, always when you see the chart, you ask, well, wh where is the beginning of the impulse? Always when we start a chart, when we start analyzing a chart, we think that the diagram is going to be perfect, and if we are going to check, let's say. Uh, Alibaba or the S&P or oil or a currency or anything, we are always looking for the beginning, for the point zero of the wave count. And that actually is the biggest mistake because what I found is that the market can start uh, 
the price action can start building when the market borns, let's say an IPO or the start of the of the future market, whatever, or the start of the currency, it can start on any of the waves. So for example, if today we have an IPO of any company, it could start, for example, here at the top of this B wave, and the price can start a bearish in order to make the C, and then start building an impulse, for example. So not always we are going to see the 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 market is starting from point zero and this little detail it's going to change forever the way you you, you are going to see the Elliott wave theory because we can start any anywhere from this diagram the other key key thing about uh, Elliott wave is that we have um a wave one that inside has five waves inside 21 waves inside 89 waves see i have them here in this chart right here and those are fibonacci numbers so it's pretty interesting that when we label the markets when we label the swings of these markets we are going to find that they actually have no Fibonacci numbers everywhere. And if we do the same for the corrective wave, there we will see the same behavior with the Fibonacci numbers, one, three, 13, and 55. And if we go and add them up, the impulse waves with the corrective waves, what is gonna happen is that we are going to have more Fibonacci numbers. So that's incredible. So I think that that is why um, the Fibonacci numbers, like the Fibonacci uh, retrace and extensions and harmonics and all the things around F with Fibonacci work because the market is built by Fibonacci numbers. But you know, the most interesting part about this thing is that the why you know the, the question is why why the market is so related with fibonacci so i did the whole research and i found something very interesting you know who is taking these decisions the traders or the algorithms created uh, by traders these computers and the decisions that we take are coming from our brains and our neurons are fractal and are based on the Fibonacci numbers as well. You know, like the golden ratio and all these numbers. So one way to measure the human thinking is with Fibonacci. And that is why all the things that we do, all the things that we do, and all our thoughts are based on the Fibonacci numbers. And that is why when we take trading decisions, we, when the whole world is taking trading decisions, it starts printing this kind of chart based on Fibonacci. So that's really interesting, right? Now, let's have a look at the basic uh, Elliott wave structures, the five Elliott wave structures. And on the next slide, we are going to the live markets. So the first one is the impulse. It's a um, five wave sequence. We also have the diagonal wave. The diagonal wave, the difference is that the wave four moves inside the wave one area. So the wave four comes here inside. Well, here, the wave four is far from the wave one. And the first corrective is the zigzag. So after an impulse or after a diagonal wave, we are going to have a corrective wave. So you, you already know that. You already know that after a breakout, we can have a throwback or a pullback. But the question is how that a throwback or pullback is going to look like so the corrective waves 
are key because we are going to know um, that we are in a corrective wave, like for example, the S&P that we are going to check in a second. And also we are going to be able to create strategies to find the end of the corrective wave. The next one is the flat, is when the price is completely sideways. And we also have the triangle. So actually, these are the five Elliott wave structures. And yeah, there are some variations in terms of the corrective waves that can be double or triple. So don't worry about that now, uh, because my job is to show you the analysis and to provide you with the trade ideas. That's, that's the plan. But these are the basic structures. So what we are going to do now, we are going to the chart on these markets. I'm going to show you my forecast and the analysis of the actual price action on these markets. Because I think that when we are teaching how to trade, it's important to show results and it's important to do these examples on the real life, right? I don't know if you agree, but it's better to learn uh, with the live charts. All right, so I would like to start with the Euro dollar. This is the, the first example that we are going to check today. This is a weekly chart. I'm going to hide some of the waves because it's going to be cleaner. And look, here we have on the euro, the, the price uh, doing a corrective wave. So the, the long-term target on the euro that I have is around the, the, the 95 below parity, the 95 area, 0.95 area on the euro. So it seems that this wave that started back here on April 2018, is not over yet and that this is not going to be the bottom of the market according to my analysis once we have the completion of this wave two we are going to have a big trade on the euro to sell it and we can go back to the parity level i don't think that that's going to happen uh, soon it's going to take one or two months it, in order to complete the wave two and also this is going to show us where we are right now because that's the actual price action so when we are scalping when we are day trading that's where we are under the big picture and this is another benefit from the Elliott wave theory is that sometimes we check the weekly chart or the monthly and we think that the price is bearish or bullish, but then we go to the to the next time frame, the daily chart or the four hour chart or the five minute chart, and we are completely lost there because we forget what happened on the higher time frames. But Elliott Wave solves that problem because it's going to bring with us all the information, all the analysis from other time frames. It's like a puzzle, you know, for me, Elliott Wave is like a puzzle where it's not a, a standalone solution to trade because Elliott Wave doesn't provide signals. We are going to come up with, with a trade on, on all, the, all the markets that we are checking today, but with price action techniques. Elliott Wave is just the roadmap, it's just the, the GPS, the way we are going to use that information. It's going to be up to the, the, the type of trading that we are doing, right? So let's go now to the lower time frames. Now we are going inside. This is very exciting. We are going inside this crazy price action. Let's do it. All right, so on the daily chart, uh, what I have, First of all, before we go inside the details, uh, what I have on the daily chart is mainly that the euro did a leg down. So we have one wave. That's one wave. I, I'm, I'm labeling, I put the name of wave one to 
these leg down. All right. So the this whole leg down is my wave one. When the wave one is done, we are going to have a corrective wave. That's the one that we are in. And then once the wave two is done, we are going to sell. And this is the one of the biggest challenges when you are trading with Elliott Wave Theory because sometimes one of the biggest mistakes is when when you see the pattern and you say, okay, that's my wave two, and the price starts going up and you start selling because the price is going up. So that's a huge mistake because what if the price continues and makes a higher high? You are going to lose a lot of money. What if, and it doesn't matter the market that you are trading, because on all the markets, it's the same. So what if we add a resistance line over here, right there? And what if we add a simple a trading rule, a price action validation, that once the price moves above resistance, we wait for a candle to close below that resistance now acting as support and if that happens we sell it so this is just a little example of validation that's validation and this makes the difference right so now we continue lower we are in the in the corrective a uh, b wave and this b wave it's doing something called a triple zigzag formation so now we have a clear plan the plan of the euro will be to find and we are going to create the strategy in a second we are going to find the end of this corrective wave in order to sell it and target this previous low 107.27 we are going to sell here all right that's the plan now how to do it we are going to lower time frames all right so here on the lower time frames today uh, we have a pretty strong a uh, euro the price started uh, to jump really fast and thanks to the analysis thanks to all the things that we can think about here i found that this leg is corrective but the but the next question is when this thing is going to be over, when should I start selling euro to target the previous low? Should I do it now? Should I place a limit order and start selling? No, of course not. So this is just the analysis. So now what I'm going to do, I, I have my, my own trading strategy that is called the Cyclone Revolution. And the Cyclone Revolution is the system that you can learn with me. But I use the Cyclone Revolution to find the end of the waves because that's where the trade happens. So I'm not using Elliott Wave to find a, to find the specific entry. I'm using Elliott Wave to understand where we are, where we are likely to go. And then I apply my Cyclone Revolution strategy in order to find the trade. So here I will need to go to a lower time frame, like the hourly chart. On the hourly chart, we have a lot of information here. Uh, first of all, first of all, um, I create this indicator based on other indicators, and uh, we have the um, the price today adding momentum. As you can see here, we have a nice addition of momentum over here. So the next step is the, the the trigger to short the euro will be either having a higher high here and a reversal i sell it or if the price is ready to drop i will sell it below this low and i will have my cyclone dds two lines a uh, crossing to confirm my entry so I'm using the Elliott Wave count to understand the price action, and I am using the system and price action entries to get into the trade. 
now that you understand how I find my trading decisions, let's continue with the Aussie. So the Aussie dollar um, has been going up. We know that, right? So on the daily chart, it's going up. It's similar actually to the S&P. If you compare the S&P with the Aussie, it's pretty similar what we are seeing. But what I'm doing here, I'm finding the end of this wave. So this market is showing a wave, a leg up, that soon it's going to be over. But I don't like to be subjective. You know, I don't like that kind of analysis that eventually the Aussie will go down and eventually we will go down here. If not, we will, we will go up here. No. I always like to, go, to, to analyze the market and come with a key and precise idea. So let's do it the same as we did with the euro. We're going to lower time frames, and the, and the Aussie has been going up. So the big question is, this the top? Is the Aussie going to make another move up? or and, and then go down or it's going to make a three wave sequence over here and it's going to break out because that's key that's key the entry and the timing it's something key when you are trading so let me add my trading strategy so this trading strategy is so stress free because in combination with the Elliott wave theory, it helps us to validate the end of the waves. So what I'm looking here is that my uh, two EMAs, the, the, the orange and the, and, the, and the blue, once they cross, are going to tell me that, the, um, that, that, the, that this is the top of the market. And then I'm going to sell stop below this low right here that's going to be my trade pretty simple right and if the price right now moves higher on this alternative scenario what i'm going to do i'm going to move my wave x a little bit higher and once i have the setup later let's say here i'm going to trade it there so with this technique that i develop combined with the Elliott wave theory is fantastic because we can have some high probability trades. And I would love to go into more details, but, but I don't have enough time and I want to cover some other markets. But at the end of the, of the presentation, I'm going to invite you to another webinar that I'm going to do next week. So I will give you the details at the end. But for now, let's have a look at the S&P. All right, the S&P, what a roller coaster the S&P. If we think about fundamentals, this is not the real value because we have a terrible employment data. Today, we, we have the, the unemployment claims and it added on the last six week, 30 million of unemployment claims. So that's huge. And we have a lot of bad news on the, on the markets, but the S&P is going up because the Fed is helping the markets but is the fed going to be there forever no of course not eventually the fed is is going to run run out of money and is not going to be able to continue helping the markets so i think that the s p is doing a corrective wave from here to here and once we have the completion and we are going to plan it on, on the lower time frames in a second, then we are going to look for a leg down. And then the S&P can recover back to the previous highs. But the tricky part is to find the end of this corrective wave because we are trading against the Fed here. We are trading against the Fed. So let's continue lower. Let's go to the four hour chart and we start planning 
uh, the trade. Another interesting fact on the S&P is that with the trend line, uh, we have the breakout of the trend line uh, right here on April the 21st, and then the prices started to go up, retesting the old trend line, now acting as resistance, was able to make a higher high over here, right? Then moves down and creates a higher high without re-entering the previous area. And here we go. So the, the entry on the S&P, I'm, I'm going to leave you here with a pretty simple idea for the top. Wait a little bit for the reversal. And during the re reversal, we can place a sell stop order below the end of this wave one. And if the price collapse, it's going to trigger the order right here. And if the price continues higher, we don't do anything. Right, that will be the one to three strategy entry. Right there, simple, easy, and with a high probability. Let's have a look at some individual stocks very quickly. Uh, first of all, Apple. Apple is a little bit expensive these days. We are in the wave five. We are, uh, the wave four is already done. Uh, here was a nice buying opportunity on Apple with a target at the previous high. And now we have a little bit more of potential to the upside during this week. I'm thinking that Apple, before it starts the, the retrace, could very easily reach the 300 area. And one of my favorites is Alibaba because Alibaba has so many potential. You know, with all these emergency, people are likely to start doing business online. And Alibaba is a great platform, so it's going to increase its revenue. So here is, a, is the plan. Let's wait for another leg down. We, we add the support. And once the price reverse up here, we can buy Alibaba. We can add here our a trend line, of course. And from there, we can jump into the wave three. The wave three on Alibaba could very easily move the price to the 230 area. And another favorite that I think that is in trouble is Twitter. Because after doing my research, I found that Twitter is ending a wave four. And here was the wave three at the previous low. So my target on Twitter is this 20 area. And the price is ready because if we add the resistance, where the previous wave A ended, and don't worry about the wave count um, because here I'm just telling you how to use it. Um, we have here the wave one and, and then the retrace for two, and we are in the wave three. The wave three is the strongest. Don't be surprised if we have Twitter soon back here, the 25 and then the 20s. It's a market top on Twitter. So um, I'm going to, to follow this trade all the way down. It's pretty interesting. And we are using the yellow wave theory to understand where we are. Um, I would like to, to, to continue showing more live markets, but I don't have more time. So what I did, I have a free webinar this Monday at 4 p.m., April the 4th, this Monday. So you can visit elliotwavestreet.com right now and click on this banner and you will register for the webinar. It's completely free and we are going to have more time to slowly uh, go through these markets to show you my live trades and to, and to answer any question that you may have. So that's why I create this webinar for you. Go to elliotwavestreet.com right now, and click on this banner and register for the webinar on Monday. And, if, and the other thing is that you can click on the membership tab. You can explore the website and you can click the, the membership tab is going to show you our membership because we offer three levels for the Forex, for the stocks and the full access trader. So every day I send you videos, I send you uh, charts, I send you trade ideas. You will have access to all these instruments that I cover on a daily basis and you can take a $19 first month trial. And in case that you have 
any 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 question i'm happy to answer your questions please send me an email to support at elliotwavestreet.com or send me a message through whatsapp here is my whatsapp number or skype and this is our website so thank you very much for being here it's a pleasure to analyze the markets for you please have a fantastic trading week a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you on my next webinar thank you very much